<clears throat> What's up, Cancer Nation? It's King Chocolate back in this motherfucker. Thank you very much. Wishing y'all a happy Freaky Friday. No, today's Saturday. Yesterday was Freaky Friday. Don't worry, I'm not losing my mind. We forget the day sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Especially when you get busy like me, you know what I'm talking about? Thank you very much. Shout out to everybody that's going to view this video. That's a Cancer Nation or a Crosswatch, you know what I mean? If this is your first time seeing me, put it in the comment section. Let me know that you've never seen me before. And let me know that you um, subscribe to my channel. If you want to book a private session with me, you email me. My information is on my community page, and I will book you immediately. You know what I'm saying? I'm the quickest booker, and I'm the most accurate doing what I do. I'm not going to tell you a bunch of bullshit. I'm not going to use tarot cards because I'm not a tarot reader. Thank you very much. The Lord is going to show me pictures, and I'm going to tell you what he showed me. Thank you very much. That's all you need to know. Thank you very much. Um, Let me see. No lies over here, you know what I'm saying, cancers? <clears throat> Let's get busy. Let's get this party started, you know what I'm saying? Somebody want to argue. Could be Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, or Virgo wants to argue with you. They coming in like the Knight of Swords. They want to come in quick, talking crazy. Blaming you for some bullshit that jumped off. Something just recently happened. Somebody want to blame you for it. Truthfully, they want to argue. That's what they want to do. Whoever it is, could be somebody you used to deal with, a co-worker, family, family member, and I'm hearing they jealous of you too. You also got a love offer coming to order an apology. Page of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces. The Page of Cups is a little love offer, a little friendship, a little flirting, or an apology. Could be from a water sand person like yourself, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Somebody want to talk to you. It's something they want to tell you. It's flirty. But I see y'all rejecting a Scorpio Cancer Pisces or an air sign person, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, or a Virgo. So it's Mercury, Ru, Virgo. I throw them in there too. Thank you very much. Either you've been rejected by a Virgo or a water sign or they rejected you or it's mutual. Somebody saying they don't want it. Either you saying you don't want to deal with them or they saying they don't want to deal with you. You know what I'm saying? That kind of dynamic. <clears throat> but what you do have is um, equal pay coming to you. You do got some moolah, some dinero coming to you. You know what I'm saying? And if you don't pay your fair share of taxes, you will be deported out of this country. Do you understand me, counsel? Thank you very much. You could know a Capricorn towards a Virgo, but you're about to get somebody going to come in that's going to really respect you. They're going to have a lot of respect for you is what I'm hearing. There's a cancer. You may be looking for a job. You're going to get it soon. Could be a pay raise or something like that. But you're going to get what you need. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying, counselors? You are going to get what you need. Rejection sometimes is good. <clears throat> Either you doing a rejection or somebody rejecting you. But I see a tower coming. Major account for Scorpio and Aries. That's Mars energy. Either some, some of y'all coming out of a tower or some of y'all can walk right into one. But if something going on with some rejecting and some foolishness and back and forth arguing, there's a relationship, family, friends or whatever, it's going to come to an end. 
I'm gonna tell you that now. After it comes to the end, you're gonna become the magician. Like a Gemini, Virgo, or a Scorpio. Magician is a major arcana. You're gonna manifest the life that you want and that you need. You're learning to let people kick rocks that need to kick rocks. You can manifest the love you, you need and always want it. And the family life. I see your home is getting out of hand. You say shit getting out of hand around my house. I got to get it fixed around here. Hmm? Some of y'all got a steady relationship coming from a Capricorn towards Virgo, Scorpio, and Gemini. You guys are going to build a family together with this person that I'm picking up on Ten of Pentacles is a lot of love, money, marriage, husband, wife, kids, grandkids, money in the bank, vacation homes. That's the dream you always had and that's what you're gonna get. Ten of Pentacles is the everything. All the love and all the money you need is gonna come to you. But you're undecisive, you're juggling, you're confused right now. Oh, should you go, should you stay, should you invest more, should you invest less? You're kind of confused about some things, but you're going to get it together. You know what I mean? You could be deal dealing with an Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Virgo that got you confused, but you're confused. You got a blindfold on and you can go left or right. You just don't want to make the wrong move. I don't blame you, Cancers. It's always good to make the right decision. Some of y'all trapped in your head. You're blindfolded and don't know which way to go. You feel like you're stuck in a, either a bullshit ass job or relationship or a dead end way of living. And some of y'all, there's an air sign confusing you and doing some stupid shit like spying. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Virgo is the page of swords. They're spying on you, they're acting like a damn idiot. They're immature and they're stupid. Somebody's spying on you. Obviously, you blocked them. Something like that. It's some weird energy going on with you people today. Y'all was dealing with a, a clown. They very deceptive, ain't they? Pisces, cancer type of motherfucker. Moon, moon, moon. They're lunatic. They crazy. You know what I'm saying? Look, your advice is to lose them and let them go. They lying to you and you know it. That moon means they not tell you the whole story. You only got piece, bits and pieces and you trapped in your head. This is how you get untrapped. Let it go all the way. You are single. Whether you believe you are or not, you are. They doing something else, I'm telling you. You're going to find out. Then you're going to be like, damn, this man know what the fuck he's doing. Hell yeah, I don't want to tell you no stupid ass lies and fairy tale stories does not gonna come to pass. It's easy to get some signs. Leo Aries has, that's easy. But it's not easy being a, a voice for God when people wanna hear a bunch of lies and bullshit. You ain't gonna get that shit from me, so whatever. You independent. God teach you how to live independently, how to live alone, how to live to be a single man or a single woman. But the next person gonna come is gonna be a king of cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. That's the person you're gonna fall in love with. Somebody gonna send a message in the next 36 days. Somebody 36 watching me. Something with that number 36, 36, 36, 36. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. King of cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. You're gonna fall in love with a new water sign that you've never been with and you never touched. It's gonna blow your mind. You're gonna get married. You're going to come out of confusion. But as for right now, some of y'all are juggling places to go, people to be around, and, 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 and you know, decisions like that. Light y'all blunt up. Get y'all's wine, whatever. Champagne. The drink of champions, baby, baby. Because y'all going to be in the championship seat sooner than later. As soon as y'all let this clown go that likes to argue and play back and forth games, 
some of y'all got a child or whatever you have something going on with it you ain't got it no more loose it and let it go it's not yours Some of y'all can have a magical moment. These next 90 days are going to be magical for you. Magical before the snow hit the ground in your town is going to be magical. Somebody watching this video, wherever you stay, it gets very, very snowy and cold where you stay. Before that snow hit the ground, you got a miracle coming. I'm telling you what I know. There's some confusion going on there. You got to get clear in your head because you feel stuck. You feel trapped. You feel like you don't know it all. That's a clear sign and a red flag to let it go. So you can move on with your life. So you don't waste another three, four, five years. Some of you already did that shit. Waited a few years for some bullshit and it never jumped off. You know? That is not God's plan for you, you know. His plan is to bring you favor and mercy and love and the abundant life. Not robbing Peter, not depending on politicians, but depending on the one who made the politicians. Thank you very much. My name is King Chocolate. If you want a private session, book it. Go to my email, it's on my community page, and get, get it cracking. <laughs> If this your first time seeing me, put it in the comment section. Let me know that you never seen me before. Let me know that you subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. My name is King Motherfucking Chocolate, baby, baby. This is what I see for you, Cancer. It's going to get better. But there's decisions you got to make because there's some juggling going on and you know it. Like, comment, share, book a private if you need it. You hear me? I'm out of here, Cancer Nation, baby, baby. Shout out to all my subscribers and chocoholics and fans and whatever else you people call yourselves. Thank you very much. Shout out to C. Golden. At C. Golden. Y'all got all kind of names, you know what I'm saying? But shout out to C. Golden, whatever that means. I knew somebody named started with a motherfucker C. Thank you very much. Your best days is in front of you, C. Golden. Do you understand me? Thank you very much. It's going to be golden once you all make the right decisions. Okay, Cancer Nation, enjoy your Super Saturday, baby, baby. I'm going to try to get y'all bedtime story in today, too.